You know, I forgot to wipe around his eyes, so it's not very clear. <gasps> but anyway. I think it looks great. <laughs> he should have an eye. <laughs> yeah, great. But anyway. Very nice, so, lovely. So Margaret, uh, tell me how did this, is this a good place to get this? How, how did the, the studio come about? The studio happened. Did you, did you found it? Was it you? Yes, I found it because um, I, I had a student who was very good and asked the Arts Council for a grant to teach him because I couldn't pay him and I thought well, if he did that he'd then earn his, um, he could become a printer, printing for other people. Um, so I applied to the Arts Council and they in fact said there's no such grant but would I look into opening up a print studio in Kildare. And I had no notion of doing anything like that. It terrified the wits out of me, but it somehow happened. And at that stage, I went all around clean looking for premises. And um, Desi Marin, who runs the chemist, said, ask the nuns. So the nuns, I asked the nuns, and they gave us a room for 500 euro a year. Now, the room is upstairs, a bit of a problem with the presses. We don't need one press starting off, and that's 14 years ago and ten people. Um, cut a very long story short, we moved down here and then we moved into the whole place, about the whole building about five, six years ago and we pay the parish priest ten thousand a year. So, but we get a grant from Kildare County Council mm. and everybody comes, they come from all over and we have actually people coming from Enniscorthy, Enniscorthy, um, but Clody, Wexford, both, all over the Wicklow, all over the place. Mm. And, and how many here. artists? There's are roughly there? about 40 coming and going. We have some associate artists and full time. Mm. So they all pay a slump and um, we exhibit. We've done a collaboration with um, the Welsh Print Studio and, and that has toured all around Wales, England, Ireland and Australia. And now we're working on <clears throat> an exhibition with all the print studios of Ireland were invited. And I think we have about six. And we'll be exhibiting in December in the Cross Gallery in Francis Street. Mm. Um, the exhibition is based on poems of the dispossessed, edited by Thomas Kinsler. Um, and everyone has illustrated their favourite poem. Mm, lovely, lovely. And would you trace all this creativity back to your childhood by any oh, chance, yes, could would. you relate it I with really. Erin Brady's uh, ethos? Expression. Yeah, absolutely, I, I think I have to think that really, mm. yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah, how would you see that I, manifesting I suppose, itself? I suppose because, um, you know, every other child went to tap dancing or Irish dancing or ballet, uh, formal ballet, and we went to free Free things, and we were a bit odd, I suppose. From that point of view, we went to different things. Um, so I suppose that it had a lot to do with it. Um, stained glass. Actually, a lot of women do stained glass, which is interesting. Um, and that actually had, came about because my aunt was trying to. She was matchmaking. <laughs> she felt that um, Pat Pollen, who was then in the untoured lid, and I would be a good match. We were very good friends. He only actually died a couple of years ago. But he, he married a sculptor called Nell Murphy. So we really moved around in an mm. artistic circle. Mm, mm. Yeah. And where those classes were was very interdisciplinary and in that there was yeah, stained glass absolutely. in the same building. Absolutely. And in those days, um, to become a glazer, that's actually cutting the glass, leading it and cementing it and soldering it, putting it all together. That was seven years training. And I remember the boys at that time the Beatles were just popular and they had little transistors. And I remember Hugh Baden and all the older men being disgusted at this noise going on in the studio. You know, it's interesting. But. Um, and, and you remember Hugh Baden? I remember Hugh Baden very well because he sort of took me under his wing and made all my tools for me. Um, they were all, especially for a lady's hand, as he put it, small hammer, which I still have to this day, and a little lathkin. Um, all made by him, yeah, yeah. He was Evie Holmes' laser, so it was a terrific association. Wow. Yeah.